All right. Good afternoon and welcome to my tutorial for multi-view drawing. Uh, this is one of my favorite activities in class. I really enjoy doing this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about my instruments. Uh, I'm using a green Sharpie and a black Sharpie. Now, obviously, when you do this activity, you're going to use pencils. But what I want you to see is what I'm doing with my green Sharpie is what you're going to use your pencil to make very light lines that you can easily erase later. My black Sharpie is where I'm going to darken in lines that I want to keep. I'm doing these with the markers so that you can see here on the video what I'm doing. Um, so that's the reason for me using markers instead of pencils. The very first thing that we want to do is in our mind, and I'm using my green Sharpie to represent my mind, is we divide our paper into four equal areas. Okay, This area here is where we're going to put our top view. This area over here will be our front view and then this here will be our side view. Now when I'm doing a multi-view drawing a couple of things that that we always have to make sure that happens is that every part of one view lines up correctly with the same part in the other view. And in order to help me do that, what I do is I measure in from the edge of my paper to a certain point, and then that is where I put my first guideline. I'm going to do a light pencil drawn line all the way down the edge of my paper. That is my guideline. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing across the bottom. Again, I'm creating guidelines to work off of. Now, for this particular picture, this first outing at Multiview Drawings, you have graph paper. Later on when you do this, you're going to be doing it on a plain white sheet of paper with no guidelines to work with. You're going to have to create everything using a pencil and a straight edge. But we're doing this first one with graph paper to help us kind of get into the mood of drawing multi-view drawings. First thing you want to understand is that this corner right here is this corner. Okay, and we're going to count up so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is my type, uh, top edge. Then I come across one, two, three. So I'm there. Then I come down one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right now, I'm just laying out my drawing. Again, I'm always, always, always using a straight edge. No free lines. So I'm, I'm laying out my shape. And I'm going to come across this way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to, again, connect the dots. Now, notice there's an indent here in this shape. But remember, we're looking at this shape from this side. So we're going to see this vertical corner here. And we're going to see this corner. And they are two places apart from one another. But otherwise, we're just going to see a square there on the edge of the shape. Then we come over two more places, and our front view is finished. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these lines that are vertical, and I'm going to extend them all the way across my paper. Now, remember, you are doing this very lightly with a pencil, 
because you're going to erase all of these lines later. I'm going to do the same thing going sideways across my paper. And at this point I've connected everything. Okay? So, we've got all of these lines. Now, I'm going to go up and I'm going to do my top view next. What I need to do first is just pick a spot and start drawing. I kind of came up three dots, three places here. So I'm going to come up three places and start right there. Now, one good thing is that the length of my shape was determined by my bottom piece. Okay? So now we've got to find our width. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six places. One, two, three, four, five, six places. And then again, we're going to come all the way across. Now, I realize there's the gap here, and we're going to cut that out in just a second. We're going to actually come in two places and then come across with another line. Now, at this point, we have everything we need for our top line completed. Okay? Now comes one of the coolest parts to me. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our center part of our paper and we're going to put a 45 degree line across this section. We're going to bring this line over. Everything that is now horizontal on our paper, we want to bring to this line. Because when we turn, look how that lines up. This is giving us our marks. This one's off a little bit, but this is giving us, for the most part, our marks. to where our side shape should be. Now, at this point, everything is drawn with our light color. So now we're going to come back and we're going to color in our lines and, and start erasing what we don't need. Now, remember, first thing that you want to do is be very careful. Now. I will give you another trick as well, depending on if you're left or right handed. Whichever hand you write with, start with your ruler on that side of the paper so that when you draw out your lines, you're sliding your ruler away from what you've drawn, not over what you've drawn. Does that make sense? Draw your line, slide your ruler away to go to the next line. So there's that piece. Same thing here on the bottom. I'm going to start drawing in my shape. I'm hoping you can see these black lines over the green uh, to get an understanding of what I've done here. Now for this one you've got to be careful because we can see these lines. We see this top place. This line is actually right here. And when we draw this bottom piece, we, that's here. And this is here. Now, what we don't see is this piece reflected on the edge. But what you've got to do is come over. We know it comes in two places, and we know it's marked. But since we can't see it, we represent it with a dotted line. Okay? So at this point, you start erasing all of your light pencil marks. And what you end up with is a clean copy of your multi-view drawing on a plain white sheet of paper. Good luck with yours.